some countries feel no one should talk about assessment because, um, well, not basically not some countries. Maybe I need to be more specific. The African um, group of negotiators, I wonder who made them that. Because I wonder um, a country like um, one of those African, if I remember I'll mention, just would, uh, stand up and say, on behalf of the African group, we say we don't want this. Who made you the African group negotiators when I know that I want assessment? And I, I think that they are being influenced. I'm not sure who exactly, but I, I believe that the, the need to receive aid and grants and whatever is what is making them um, it's what in, is influencing their decision, and that that makes them feel like having a, having assessment will be a restriction. So they are more like I'm opening my borders to bring anything you want to bring. Um, it bothers me also when I hear because the African most African people would say we want development, we want development. So if you put these restrictions here and there, it means you're restricting us from getting developed. And that to me is an anomaly because development, that word development, you can't define development in Africa like you define in, the, in Europe or in another place. Take for instance, um, Nigeria was colonized by the Britain. If you want to define development based on how they are developed, it means that an African country will need to go and colonize, enslave people to be able to get the workforce that developed that place. We need to um, keep exploring and taking from some other group. I don't know what groups, but if, if we must get, if we must duplicate, that's the word, duplicate development the way it is in the global north, it means that we have to do the same bad things that we are against. So for me, I think that before we even talk about development, it needs to be redefined based on our own perspective and experiences. So because the need to be like the other countries is the reason why they're opening their, their borders to anything. Just bring them as long as it is money, just open, allow them to come. And people are exploiting that. The global north is exploiting that. The greed for money, the greed for aid. So you can bring the GMOs, you can bring synthetic biology, we don't mind as long as you give us money. Um, you can come and say, oh, we need, um, we need to offset carbon to keep your forests like this. Oh, for Christ's sake, if, uh, this, is, if this is not too um, deviating from the, what you, your question. No, so you, 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 you wonder about um, the, 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 was that you and that came with the red plus plus? And you say, oh, we need, um, we, need, we need some African countries to keep their, we've been keeping our forests all this while. And we've been benefiting from our forests. And now you're coming to say, we want to pay you stipends for you to be out of your forest, just so that we, you can offset carbon. So it means let's go back and keep polluting while you keep your forest and not enter your forest. And forests to us is medicine. Forest to us is biodiversity. Forest to, for, for us is food. Forest is even a spiritual thing for us in Africa. So you're restricting people from entering the forest because you want them to leave it to offset the carbon you put in the atmosphere. It doesn't make any sense. So our people um, ignorantly would accept because it's a readily seen money. So the benefit is readily seen, it's money. So they accept that, but that is at the expense of all the other benefits we receive from the forest. And we've, we've grown and kept our forest this long. So um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a combination of ignorance and greed that makes um, the, in quote, African group of negotiators to say, we speak on behalf of Africa, we need this, lift the restriction, no assessment. Because if they really sit down to understand the, the reason why we are calling for assessment on horizon scanning, I think it's something everyone should embrace.